Hey, what's up guys? RC Addict Mickey Loco here once again. And today we have another instructional video. And this time it's going to be on calibrating the gyro inside of the Cheerson CX-10. What these have inside of them is a six axis gyro that makes the flight so stable and, you know, fun to fly in general. So once it gets knocked out of calibration, you'll definitely know it. Um, the way it happens is over various flights, hot and cold weather extremes, and the big one is a hard crash landing. And the symptoms of this include it doesn't take off straight, it kind of veers left and right, the overall flight is unstable, and then you can get it so bad where it's actually impossible to even take off. It'll kind of just kind of like flip over on itself because it's way off, and I have a little clip of that right now. And this right here is one of those telltale signs that you need to calibrate your gyros in here. Watch this thing try to take off. Obviously way off. Now, luckily, the process to calibrate this is very, very simple. All we got to do is have our quad on a perfectly level, flat, horizontal surface so it gets the most accurate calibration possible. And then we're going to turn our transmitter on. And then we're going to turn our quad on, just like usual. We're going to link them up. We're going to have a fully charged battery. It's always a good idea. And then we're going to simply take our controller here, put this stick down to the bottom left and this one to the top left and the lights on here will flash a couple times and then go solid at that point you can release, release your sticks and the calibration is complete so we'll do that now just look at them they're still flashing and now it's solid let go of the sticks and then you should be able to take off nice and straight and that is literally all there is to calibrating the gyro on here. Even if you're not having those symptoms where it's unstable flight or won't, won't be able to take off straight, uh, just about every couple times you go out to go fly, just do it real quick. It doesn't take that long, and then you have the most enjoyable flight experience possible. Uh, so hopefully this helps.